change to the fact that the boys were able to back up the performance from Monday night? Was it the most pleasing thing that there was a bit of consistency in your performance? You said the key word, consistency. Um, that was the challenge going into the game. Like you can't go and win that type of game on Monday and then come up, come home and have a different performance than that. So challenge to do to do that again, but give us more. And for the most part, um, we checked some of those boxes. Matt, so this was sort of three quarters of the way back on Monday night. Yeah. He sort of showed that was that was almost old school. So that first half wasn't a difference maker, right? Mm. Um, getting his legs back, getting his touch back. Um, he's that type of impactful player. He was two years ago top three in MVP voting, and so um, everybody remembers what he's like as a player. And he had a serious injury, and he's still, you know, coming back from that. So we need him. And if he's playing like that, we know what Aaron Baines gives you. Yeah. That must give you and the group a whole lot of confidence moving forward. The a closer to fully fit Nathan Sobe that. Yeah, it's just like guys are getting healthy and um, I think that and the chemistry that they're building within one another where they where they're gonna be on the floor at the right times and and communicating with one another, that's that's huge for us and it's just taking time, a little bit longer time than we would want, but that's just part of our process. Were there times last year and the start of this year when you were a bit worried about him? So it was just the knee and how happy he could get back to what he was, like in the I mean, tonight was a, a more than just a glimpse of, of what he's capable of. I think not looking too far ahead, you just got to, you know, do the process and the recovery. And it's tedious and it's sometimes boring, but that's just how it has to be. And some days look um, worse than other days. And But I can say over the last um, few weeks, he been, he's been really ramping it up. And you can see that his condition has been getting better. Um, you would have to ask him if he ever like yeah. thought, you know, what his thoughts were throughout um, his comeback. But in terms of us, we've always been positive with him. Take your time, um, get the rest when you need, recovery when you need, get your therapy when you need, and it'll come back to you once you continue just to put the work in. Harry, the same great intent from all the boys tonight from the opening tip. Was there was that was there a feeling amongst them that you know they really wanted to back up what you did Monday and make another statement? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've talked about it all preseason. And the first few games, we sort of went away from it defensively. Like, defense has to be our, our bread and butter. And, I mean, we held only one of their guys scored in double digits, which is a pretty good effort, to be honest. Like, especially for NBL on this level, like, whether it's the top team or bottom team, like, the level of this league is so high. And to be able to do that and put a full defensive game together, like, we know we have the offensive talent. Guys in the preseason, like, Bainsey was out. Sobs is still coming back. Like, it's going to take them a few games to build up. And, um, Hopefully we can keep building from this. And one thing I will say is like this group in general, like I've been on teams in the past, you know, back when I first started and you'd have guys, whether it's imports or the top dogs, like this, the, the adversity we went through at the start of the season, the ship would have, would have sunk. Like no patching the holes up. It would have been, every, guys would have been blaming, pointing. Like we come in, we've got our leaders. They, they take responsibility. We take responsibility and we come out and we're just playing as a team. There's not one bad dude on the team. So. Um, and that's the coaching staff too. Like, we come out, and that's been a real special thing. And we're gonna we're gonna put it together. Like, we're a talented team. It's gonna take a bit of time, and it's just a good group to be around. Like, top to bottom, even when we're losing games. So. You must be happy with your double double tonight, thirteen and ten. You must be happy with your performance, especially against against the team with your brother as well. Yeah, I mean, I just come out and try to play play the right way, play hard, and um, I'm still figuring it out. You know, I've, I'm only 24. I've been in the NBL for five, six years now, I'm still figuring it out. And um, JD believes in me. I'm starting to figure out my role on this team a bit more. It's playing hard, playing good D and, and crashing the boards. And then offensively, you know, I can put points on the board quick. So I'm not stressed about that. The talent we have, I'm not going to be a guy going out and get 20 a game on our team. Like there'll be games where I have big games, but I'm finding other ways to contribute. And um, I think if I can keep doing it defensively, then um, I'll be able to help this team. And as are all the other guys. Like we got guys on the bench like Gorjak and those guys that didn't play a lot tonight who are super talented and would play big minutes on some other teams. So um, it's just a good group to be around and um, yeah, no one's turned the nose up at anything yet. Do you feel like that is that, is that team first? I, mean, I was just about to ask you about that. Like Tyler said the other day that he's, he's, he's cool with starting off the bench because it's what's best for the team. The guys are prepared to cop less minutes and less shots, but it means they're all working towards that one goal. Do you feel like that that's the vibe? Yeah. Hundred percent. You know, like 
guy like Tyler, who I've gotten pretty close with, like, I mean, he's got 300 and something NBA's experience. He's made millions and millions of dollars in his career. He could come in here and be, I'm the big dog. I want to play 35 minutes a game. But he comes in here, talks, leads, like, communicates, off the court, anything you need. He's got you covered with all that sort of stuff. He's one of the best imports I've ever played with on and off the court. And to have a guy like that from the top, Sobey's the same. Like, Sobey's been doing everything he can to help this team. The old Sobes that I knew back in Adelaide, like, he, was, he would lost his like he would have lost his mind by now blown his top but he's out here he's leading these guys are coming in and just showing the way and if we keep that up we're going to put it together sooner or later and hopefully off the back of these two games we can keep it together because defensively holding teams to 56 last game and 61 like if you can do that in this league you're going to win a lot of games so especially with the offensive talent we have weeks long time in basketball isn't it going for mate how's the group and you feeling after the the week you've had like two big win two big wins <coughs> Back in the winner's circle, on, on a bit of a, a little bit of momentum, it's, um, it's, it's you know, fortunes can change quickly, can't they? Um, chop wood. Um, don't get too low. Um, don't get too high, and because there's this is a very difficult league to win games in, and things happen like that. And so, um, yep, we we got our second game in a row, and we're doing some some good things, but you know. A week and a half ago was completely different, and so I think we appreciate the win, but we have a lot more work ahead of us, and that's that's our attitude moving forward. <coughs> James, a couple of things that stood out. Obviously, Sobs was on fire in the first half, but he didn't need to score in the second half, and you still managed to outscore them, and you had so many other guys step up. But now to string these two defensive performances, I think. Well, less than 120 points you've given up in these two games. You must be delighted with the way the defense is coming together. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, this is something that I've been harping on for the last season and a half. And um, obviously the top defensive teams um, have success in this league and the guys are understanding that and it's a collective effort. And um, so was, I think it's just his maturity as a player. Like he had a huge first half, but then he was able to helped uh, and impact the game differently in the second half. And it doesn't have to be scoring. It can be getting a, a guy an assist. It can be rebounding the ball. It could be um, taking a charge. Um, just all those other things that don't really show up on um, the gram or, or on the stat sheet, but are, are very good for us in terms of helping us win basketball games. And so um, kudos to him and, and everybody about that. Get him on the gram. Uh, you've got nine days now until you play the next game. Is this a chance to take stock a little bit at the start of the season? And what do you focus on now, I guess, between now and next Saturday when you play as many? Um, yeah, I mean, we're heading out to Tassie and they have it rolling. And so, um, to be honest with you, it's no time to relax. Like, yep, we, we won the game and, um, you know, it's, it's a good feeling, but we're, we're a little bit in the hole in terms of our record. And so, our, we enjoy this for this evening, and then we come back tomorrow and recover, and then we start to ramp it up again and, and focus in on our next opponent. That's, that's just how it is. And I'm excited about that because now guys are seeing it even more, you know, and the trends are going in the right direction. And now we've got a little bit, we've gotten rewarded for some of these, our, our effort level and the, the good things that we're doing. So it's not a time to relax, I would say. And Harry, I it looks like your front, the front court unit is now really finding your groove with yourself and, and, and Bainsey finding his feet and, and Gorjak still you know, making the most of his minutes, DJ settling in and, and Ty coming back in as well. I imagine your practices against each other are pretty, are pretty ferocious, but then you go to war as teammates. Are you happy with the way you're all coming together? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, like we've had a, we've had a lot of guys, like three new bigs. I mean, I'm a new big too. I came back from Wollongong. Bainsey's new, DJ's new to the league. Gorjak's new to the league, Tyrell's been injured. Like, as I said, it was going to take a little while to figure it out. And I think now figuring out when to roll, when to pop, um, when to spread the floor, all that sort of stuff. Like, it's getting the guards open, it's getting us open, and um, we're just playing well as a unit. And I think if we can find that balance of pick and pops, pick and rolls, guards getting on the rim, guards dumping it inside, that sort of stuff, um, we're going to be good and tough to beat. Because, you know, with guys like Bainsey and Tyrell down, defending the hoop and big bangers just throwing people around and grabbing people down on on the offensive end like we're going to be a good front court unit and obviously with the talent we have in the back court like 
we're, we're going to be good. It's just we got to keep putting it together, keep coming in. As JD said, chop wood, and um, yeah, we're going to be good. Thank you. Questions about my mustache. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That works. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.